Hi, I'm Ray and welcome to our channel Overland Adventures where we travel, explore and experience our amazing world. I recently built a, a DIY CO2 system that I use for airing up when we come off the trail. I put this together about a year ago and I've been asked to make a video to show how it's done. I'm actually going to be building a second one for my wife so uh, today's video is how we assemble this. It's pretty simple and uh, a cheap alternative to some of the commercial ones out there. The parts we're going to be needing for the build is a preset gas flow regulator for carbon dioxide set at 150 psi constant pressure. Secondly, we're going to need a pressure gauge which is rated to 2000 psi. A male quick, quick connect for the hoses, some Teflon tape and an adjustable wrench. We're also going to need an air hose. This is one I got from ARB, however you can use any air hose, just make sure that it's rated for 200 psi. Secondly, we're going to need a tire inflator. Any inflator of your choice would work. Um, I'm going to leave a link to all of these parts and items in the video description below. I also have a bonus item which we can use with a system which I will um, show you at the end of the video. To assemble the regulator connections, we take the regulator and we're going to insert the quick coupler on this side and the pressure gauge on this side. You can't go wrong, they can only fit in one location on the uh, regulator. Start by adding Teflon tape to the thread of the quick connect. Remember to put it on in such a way that as you tighten it, it doesn't cause the tape to bunch up. Snug the connection up with the adjustable wrench and that one is done. After attaching the hose quick disconnect and the uh, pressure gauge, you're good to go. L the last thing is to uh, attach it to the CO2 cylinder. Uh, remember to put this washer in the end of the connection before attaching it to the cylinder. And this washer is a little bit small, so it tends to get lost if you take it off the cylinders. So just remember that and be careful. So this is the complete unit. We basically just added the quick release or quick disconnect and pressure gauge to the regulator. Then we have our air hose and our tire inflator. And that's it. That's your whole system. Pretty simple. I also mentioned at the beginning of the video that I had a bonus item for you. This is an air gun connection. Um, pretty straightforward, simple. Uh, you can connect it to your air hose and uh, use it to clean out the car when you come off the trail. And it's a small item, keep it in your toolbox. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Also, if you'd like to see more of this type of content, consider subscribing. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to know what system you prefer. Is it a CO2 or perhaps a nitrogen system? Or do you prefer the compressor option? Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.